Hi guys. So, as most of you know, I have been dealing with secondary infertility right now. And if you didn't know, secondary infertility is where you've had one child without the help of any fertility treatments, and now you are having trouble conceiving again. Yeah, if you follow me, you know what I've been going through. But it's been eight months of trying with no luck yet. It's hard, to say the least, it is hard. Um, especially when you get pregnant so quick the first time. It really, it really is hard. Um, as most of you know, I started my fertility testing journey and one of the first steps that they test is your hormones. Um, you do a little bit of blood work just to make sure that your hormones are functioning as is. And if that all goes well, that means you're ovulating properly and all your hormones are in order to conceive. So talking about testing fertility hormones, I wanted to mention the Modern Fertility at Home Fertility Testing Kit. This is a blood test that you can do from the comfort of your own home to test your fertility hormones. Now, you guys have seen that I have done this before, so I will put a card to the link to this video where I did a dedicated video opening it up, demonstrating and talking all about this product. I had a great success with this product and I'll tell you why. My hormone levels, as you saw in that video, they all came back completely normal. What that did was just give me a little bit of insight into what my body was doing and knowing that it was functioning well means that I could move on from that and go to the next step. To do it for the comfort of my own home while I also have a toddler at home also made it that much easier. What's great about this is that you don't have to wait the six months to one year that fertility clinics will make you wait before coming in to start fertility treatment or fertility testing. This you can do on your own timeline, whether you are trying to conceive or not trying to conceive and just want to know a little bit more about your body. Um, and I think that's what's great about it. It is under $200 as well. So if you don't have insurance, going to a clinic, it could be way more expensive. Being able to do it from your own home for a fraction of the cost and being able to use your HSA, which I use all the time for medical stuff, um, is, is amazing. Now, as you have seen, I have actually gone to a clinic and gone through the process of doing the fertility test through the clinic as well. So I can actually compare the at-home test to an in-clinic test as well. And in clinic, my results all came back normal as well. So it just goes to prove that this is just as accurate as an in-clinic test because it's done in a lab as well. I just wish I knew about it sooner because I wouldn't have waited the six, seven months that I waited to go to the fertility clinic. And in those six months, I was kind of thinking, well, you know, what if my body isn't doing what it's supposed to do and it feels like you're just kind of wasting time, you know? Being able to order this on your own timeline, I would have done it straight away or even I would have done it before we even started trying to conceive to make sure that everything was working properly for when we were ready. The test was super simple to do. I recommend it to everybody that I come across. As even online when people ask me, I will recommend this test. I still have a discount link for the fertility test and it will get you $20 off this at-home fertility test and I will leave the link at the top of the description box below. I'm only 25 years old and I did not expect to be going through infertility I'm not gonna lie and yeah it's just it's it's interesting isn't it did you know that one in six women have trouble conceiving it's that's a lot of women like it's something that our bodies are supposed to be able to do naturally and normal but for a lot of women it doesn't happen and for women like me for second secondary infertility it's easy the first time and not the second so or even the third or fourth time it's it's difficult and that's why I started sharing my um, my journey on YouTube so I could so other women could relate to me so as you guys know I went for a appointment with my new fertility doctor on my last update that I gave you and I was hoping to get referred for an HSG test and she did in fact refer me for one so right now we are just waiting for my insurance to a approve um, to cover the cost of the HSG test to see if like I'm a candidate or however it works and then we'll go ahead and schedule the appointment so I will keep you guys updated on that but that is the update for now I don't really have any other news I just have to wait for my insurance now I don't know how long that will take <laughs> the reason I wanted to mention the modern fertility test again is because I wish I knew about it sooner so I wanted to include it in my videos because I know a lot of you are women 
going through trying to conceive and you're the perfect audience to share my um, experiences with I had a great experience with this company itself they are a great company and with the at-home fertility test instead of being like me and waiting the six to twelve months to go and see somebody in a clinic you can do this at home on your own timeline and yeah that's kind of why I wanted to share it with you guys again today because um, I would have done it earlier if I could have uh, I also wanted to mention that modern fertility makes ovulation tests which I will be testing in my next trying to conceive video um, that'll be cycle number nine if I don't conceive, cycle number eight. Um, and I will be testing their pregnancy tests at the end of cycle number eight, which will be my next video coming out soon.